Hello, my name is DeAndre Hudson, and this is Design by Deuce. Now today, we are going to talk about a project that I did, which was create a poster for Where Are the Black Designers. About a week ago, they announced that they were going to have a design conference, and I figured that I would take a part in it and create a poster for this conference. The prompt was simple. You need, you need to include the phrase, Where Are the Black Designers?, you need to include the date which they were having the conference which was June 26th through June 27th and yes so I started coming up with concepts um, I wanted uh, one of my original concepts was going to be onlookers looking at a subject. I didn't necessarily know how it was going to be set up, how the onlookers were going to be looking, and what exactly the subject was going to be, but I had an idea of onlookers looking at a subject. This was going to be a display. They were going to be looking at this phrase, this question, with a figure maybe that said, where are the black designers? They're missing. So I had searched through Unsplash and found this very nice picture of these people in a museum looking at a frame so my goal here was simply to just delete all the contents within the frame and replace it with something that was eye-catching like I mentioned before we're, we're gonna excuse me we're gonna have the phrase where are the black designers and the date of the conference June 20 uh, the date of the conference hopefully I did not um, make a mistake and say a, the incorrect date but yeah, so we're working right here. We're just working on deleting all the contents in here. First, I'm using the paintbrush. Uh, and then I, I don't even know why my paintbrush is stuck on this particular setting. I'm going to need to um, change it to something with regular hardness. But later, I just use the wand and quick selection tools to completely delete everything within the frame. Or the white paintbrush. And like I replaced it with an image that I already had created, a poster that I uh, designed that I created earlier this year, Rage. And to me, this this image was appropriate because when you're asking this question about where are the black designers, this is a question that can be frustrating. This is a question that can be puzzling or baffling. Um, uh, a large group of talented people who are missing out of great opportunities. So I thought this was particularly be appropriate to this setting, expressing your emotion to this question about where are they. So here I am um, in the process of just trying to figure out what would be the best way to change it or should I change it at all to to fit like darker, lighter? And I found some really nice colors, really nice colors. It was amazing. Figuring out how dark and how light we want it to be. There's infinite color combinations, but seeing as it was where are the black designers, I felt like it would be appropriate to have it in black and white. And then uh, we get rid of the phrase rage because we don't really need it because the picture in itself is expressing this emotion, expressing the feeling that's invoked when one's asking the question. Trans uh, quick selection, transform tool, resizing it towards in the frame. Easy. That's super easy. A little bit of white, some sampling, and then like I said, we're gonna get rid of the words rage. But see now, we have the onlookers looking at the subject. This is a very emotional image, so it will catch your eye. I would assume it will catch your eye. Now we're doing the topography, 
or the type, where are the black designers? I think this was just some, this was just a color that I had already saved. Not something I was particularly planning on using. Now we're working with color selection. What's the best? <clears throat> Black, white, and red. See them always to make it. The red on white seems to make it pop. Like it makes it just stand out. And the font is Arial Black. A font that I had used in a uh, previous project. And it looks really great. Not a whole lot has to be done with it. It just looks like, like a great font. This is jagged. I was thinking about doing something with a jagged type, but I ended up changing it. Changing my mind and making it completely, uh, aligning it better. Gradients, playing with the colors. What's that dual tone? Straight purple, which we do not need. We don't need straight purple. But red, we could do red. Reds. Where are the black designers? And now we're adding some effects to the type. Trying to find out what effect will give it sort of, I don't know what I'm seeing in my head. I know I wanted the, the, uh, the sort of like the energy from the figure affecting the words, affecting the type, causing them their, their anger, their frustration is causing these this, the type to move and be distorted in some odd way or shape. I know a lot of this stuff was starting to look really nice right here. And one thing I was trying to have it was that we we're trying to create was some type that didn't feel cartoonish. Because depending on the direction and the um, amount in which you move the type, to me sometimes it made it feel cartoonish, like it didn't fit the type, the energy of the type didn't fit the energy that was being emitted from the figure. Like that could possibly work, but it's not going to work. We need some more, um, <clears throat> we need something different, maybe some more consistency with the type. Where are the black designers? Selecting the type, changing to black. We're gonna go ahead and center that 
and simplify it. Because simplicity, simplicity is always the best. In previous designs that I created, I noticed that a lot of times my artboard felt like it was too full, like too many things were actually on the page and it distracted from the main message. So simplifying the type just allows the eyes to flow better from the image to the actual words which are displaying the message. And right here, it's see, it looks good. Simple, black, whites, grays. Blacks, whites, and grays. Not a whole lot more is needed. And now we're starting on the next poster, the second poster, which this time around, we just are cutting out the... Um, we're cutting out the gallery and the people viewing it from the gallery and it's just a focus on the figure and the type. Getting the type together, figuring out how big we're going to need it. Um, and that we're simplifying it, mainly just using black and white and then a little bit of red to make the dates pop. Just going through some colors, trying to figure out which colors will suit the best. I um, have realized that I have a tendency to lead towards a certain palette, black, white, and red. During certain designs, sometimes you just notice uh, patterns, recurring patterns in your work and colors or things you lean towards. In this instance, is just the specific palette. But since it's black designers, we're going to make the black black. But now we're having a bit of a um, visual problem because the figure is black as well. And black on black does not blend the greatest. So, of course, we have to solve this problem. Yeah, it looks, it looks, it doesn't look really good. But problems like these are easily fixed. A little bit of stroke to make it pop. Stroke on the type. Great. And then, then now just adding the date. June, June 26th through June 27th of 2021. And a little bit of red makes it pop. Definitely, definitely. Where are the designers? We can't see the black. We can't see the black people. And yeah. Easily just fixing our problem. And this here is also just wasn't a whole lot of work that had to be done. It comes across easily, has a message, and it's cool. But we also are going to need the title of the conference, Where Are the Black Designers? Or the, um, the website, .org. And that is it. We're good.